Contract talks between Dalvin Cook's camp and the Minnesota Vikings have reached a stalemate, according to Tom Pelissero. Two sides couldn't come up with an agreement, so as far as any further immediate talks on contract negotiations, no mas. Dalvin Cook, he is focused on week one, so it seems like he is betting on himself. I respect it. He's going to play out the final year on his rookie deal worth $1.3 million in base salary. So all systems are go for the 2020 season for Dalvin Cook and the Minnesota Vikings. The question is 2021 and beyond if you can retain Dalvin Cook. So the biggest issue for Dalvin Cook is, we all know this, is his health. In his career so far, he's missed 40% of his games. Now, last year in 2019, he played 14 games. So that's a good step in the right direction. If he can maintain that continuity and play at least another 14 games, or if not even better, 16 games, all 16 games in the 2020 season, then Dalvin Cook at least buys himself a little bit more leverage, even though he still plays running back. And you got to remember in 2021, the salary cap is expected to decrease by a bit, especially it's all based on revenue, no fans in attendance with the stadiums, even though Jerry Jones says, we're still going to play with fans, damn it. I'll believe it when I see it. It's not if the Vikings still want to retain Dalvin Cook. And of course, the franchise tag is still an option. It's not impossible to come up with a new contract for both sides, especially when you consider the options that the Vikings have to free up some cap space starting in the 2021 year. If Ezra Cleveland is ready to go as your starting left tackle, then you can move on from Riley Reef and save nearly $12 million in cap space. Shamar Stephan, it appears he's going to play nose tackle this year. I think it's just a matter of time, especially if Michael Pierce returns in the 2021 season. We have plenty of options at the three tech. You can save nearly $4 million in cap space. And this is going to be a name that we're going to continue to talk about until this guy plays up to what his contract says. Anthony Barr in a post June 1st trade, you can save $13 million. So if the Vikings were to make all three of those moves in the next offseason, the Vikings would gain nearly $29 million in cap space. So the Vikings, they have options when it comes to Dalvin Cook, including Alexander Madison, who still obviously he's on his rookie deal. Obviously, he's the much cheaper option. In 2019, Dalvin Cook outran Alexander Madison rushing attempts wise by a two and a half to one ratio. Expect that in 2020 to get a little bit closer, partly due to the fact that you want to preserve Dalvin Cook and his health if you're going to make a playoff run, but also you want to reward Alexander Madison with the opportunities that he's rightfully earned in his sophomore season. So, and I think this will give vikings leadership the ability to see okay can alexander madison really carry this run first offense if dalvin cook is no longer part of this team we'll just have to see personally i think dalvin cook is gone after next season but anything's possible biggest takeaway from this is if you aspire to play football to be a professional football player Play any position other than running back because anyone else, any other position in the league, when it comes from moving from their rookie year to their second contract, the running backs, they always have the toughest times. We do this at least once a week. Mediocre Best Sports Podcast with Realistic Randy. Check me out on Twitter at Realistic underscore Randy. Facebook at Realistic Randy. Power's back on. We'll see you next time.